Hey guys, thanks for stopping into my Ocean One channel. I just wanted to do a quick video here. Uh, just sitting in the ocean and thinking about yesterday and today and the psychology of an investor, which I did a video on yesterday and I talked about that. Uh, most investors, especially retail, uh, when the stock goes down, they, they just kind of refuse to buy. You know, everything's wrong. Uh, but when the stock goes up, they're feeling very good about it. And, you know, they jump on the bandwagon as the old expression goes. Uh, yesterday we hit a 52 week low <clears throat> and how did I handle that well I handled that by ponying up and I purchased some more shares now I'm not telling you to purchase shares I'm just sharing with the audience my mindset and today we hit another 52 week low you know heck we could we could say an all-time low because it was an all-time low and you know so when we were down you know 9 10 11 percent this morning what was I doing well I was buying more shares uh, I think that's when you take advantage of it. Now, unless you think Fisker's going bankrupt. Now, if you think Fisker's going bankrupt, heck, sell, you know, never look back and don't regret that decision. But I have never gotten to that point. Uh, I drive the product. I know how good the product is. And I follow the company extremely well. I've been with this company, following this company since they were a SPAC. Uh, my wife and I, back in the day, you know, we looked at a Tesla Model Y and we, we, we were considering purchasing that. And then uh, she really didn't like that. And so we looked around and we found different options and we found the Fisker Ocean and she really liked that. So I have been here ever since. So the psychology of the investor is pretty tough. You know, investors do some very irrational things. Uh, now, what I'm looking for here, though, is, is what I've said in previous videos. I'm looking for Fisker to file the 10K on Friday. And I think that the share price has been just artificially decimated from the note holder. The note holder uh, keeps bringing new shares to the market. And that has just flooded the market with new shares. Roughly about 250 million shares in a very, very short period of time. So I think the price has artificially been beaten down. So once the 10K gets filed, which is most likely Friday, then that should shut off the spigot for that and that should really put some uh, no longer put selling pressure on the stock but actually buying pressure especially if we get some good news now what good news might we get well the single biggest news that we're probably looking for is the nissan news and reuters reported that from two anonymous sources and they seem to have pretty good intel there so if that comes true then, you know, Fisker's probably looking at a, a significant rally. And from these prices, you know, I was buying shares today at 30 cents. So if we just get up to a dollar, you know, that's over a 3x return. Looking at a 5x and a 10x and heck, a 20 or 25x, you know, if we just go out a full year from now. As long as Fisker does not go bankrupt, which I've never believed that they will, you know, things are looking... Uh, pretty good from an investor standpoint, but that's only if they don't go bankrupt. Now, if Fisker does go bankrupt, then, you know, kiss it goodbye. Um, bankruptcies, you know, they the retail investor is the first to get squashed, but I don't think we're going bankrupt. I think we will uh, survive this battle, and I think that Fisker has been artificially suppressed, so I do think that this is a pretty good time to buy and add Fisker shares. So you don't have to agree with me. I'm just sharing my content. And if you do agree with me, you know, take advantage of it, but be willing to take that risk and be willing to take that risk and be able to sleep well at night. That's the main thing for me. I sleep like a baby because uh, I know that nobody wants this more of the company, Henrik and Gita. Nobody could possibly want this more than they do. You know, we may think as retail that we want this more than they do, but they have their name stamped on this company. And that makes me feel pretty good that they want this to succeed. I do think mistakes have been made, and I would like to see a dedicated uh, you know, chief operating officer come in and run a tight ship. And maybe that happens, and maybe it doesn't, but that is something that I'm advocating for. But bottom line, what did you do today? You know, Did you sell? Did you buy? Did you just sit on the sidelines because, you know, you're out of cash? You know, sometimes that, that's what we have to do, too. We simply can't add, so we just, you know, we hold what we have and we wait. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you're appreciating my content. 
and always like the videos because that helps others find my content and it helps grow my channel. And my number one concern is to get accurate information out for the company and for the product. And I drive the product and know how good it is. And you'd be hard pressed to find many people that follow this company better than I do. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I appreciate it.